Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, because of the lockdown, uh, the use of Google Classroom has uh, increased significantly. Uh, the, there are some very interesting features of Google Classroom uh, which the teachers uh, can use. Uh, one of the features uh, is uh, the grading of assignments and uh, quickly uh, creating result sheets uh, after grading the assignments. Okay. So uh, it, it happens that we give some assignment to the students and ask them to submit it uh, apart from online tests. Online tests are very useful and the grading can be done automatically. Uh, apart from that, we also need to give some assignments to the students, say uh, solve some problem and uh, give the scanned copy of the solution as uh, the submission. Okay, in that case, we have to check the scanned copy manually and then assign some grade. Okay, so after assigning the grades, it is also necessary to create a result sheet or Excel sheet, right? So how, how can we do that easily in Google Classroom? So this is what uh, I'll be uh, talking about. So let us start with uh, this Google Classroom. So in Google, I have typed Google Classroom and I'm going to the class that I have created. Uh, so this one is the class that I have created uh, many classes I have created for uh, various groups so these are several classes that I have created uh, let me go to this sample class uh, which I am which I have kept for uh, demonstration purpose so here uh, we can uh, provide uh, we, we can go to this classwork and uh, assign something to the students okay so let us create an assignment uh, go to this title so let us take it as a sample assignment assignment okay and then we'll put some instruction that um, you click the form below click the form below form below to begin the submission of your assignment to begin the submission of assignment so uh, here what we do is we uh, create one form here uh, yeah this one we create one form and we will put some data here some questions here so which will yeah which will help us to begin the process of submission okay so let us rename this as a simple assignment assignment grading okay okay so let us name this also yeah so we want that every student should uh, enter uh, the name so we put something like name here then it's a short answer and we'll keep the option required okay so that uh, the students compulsory answer their uh, or enter their names okay next uh, let us put some option for roll number Roll number, which is also a very important data that we require in order to prepare our result sheets. So in this case, I'll put the option for drop down, and we will uh, uh, import the roll numbers from an from a spreadsheet or Excel sheet. Okay. So I have a separate video for that also. You can view. So as of now, I'm just using it. So for this, I need the Form Ranger app. So we'll go to start and after going to start we will select the spreadsheet which contains the roll numbers of the particular class that we want to assign the assignment to okay so suppose i want to so there is an option called populate from range okay let me just magnify it there is an option called populate from the range okay we will select this option and as you can see there is nothing selected so we can just uh, add uh, go to this add symbol addition symbol and then we can select the spreadsheet uh, which contains the roll numbers of the students okay so here already we have uh, created one spreadsheet which contains roll number of students say uh, this is the one for some honors so we'll select this So once it is selected, uh, the co column contains, containing the roll numbers has to be selected. 
So in the file that I had created, there is only one column which is roll number. So automatically, roll number is being chosen. So we'll click next, and we can give some name to this. So fourth sem honors. honors. We can use the same file in some other forms for the same class. Okay. If it is a different class, we will upload a different um, spreadsheet for containing the roll numbers of that particular class. Okay. So once it is uploaded, uh, you see the list of roll numbers is being created here. Okay. So students can choose their roll number from the drop-down menu. Okay. Next, uh, we can add another question here, which will ask the students to submit. Uh, their assignment okay so for this say we'll write uh, upload your file so we want a scanned assignment to be submitted okay. Up upload your assignment and as a pdf file right upload your assignment as a pdf file right. so there is an option called file upload we will use that option okay and uh, we also have an option for allowing only specific types of types of uh, file to be uploaded okay so it's better to select that option because it's always better to have the submissions in pdf so that uh, the, there is no change in the formats right so we want it as a pdf file okay. if uh, you want it as uh, some other format you can also choose that so maximum uh, number of files is one and we want to submit it as only one file and maximum file size allowed is 10 MB. You may change it also. There's 1 MB, 10 MB, 100 MB options. Any things are there. Okay. So keep these options and then uh, select it as required. Right. So immediately this option will be created. Okay. So we have created our uh, form for making submissions. And so let us just. Uh, reload this particular yeah no, no need to reload we can just assign okay so we can fix a due date also and we can fix some points which uh, say i want to give 20 points this to this particular assignment okay and we can fix to uh, fix a due date also and if required uh, if, it's, if it's not necessary just keep it blank okay and then immediately we can assign this right so after clicking on assign the students will be able to see the sample assignment okay so let me go to a different account uh, here where i'll uh, see this as a student okay so here uh, as you can see this is uploaded the students can see this uh, the, the sample assignment has been uploaded okay so click click the form below to begin the submission of assignment so students will click here and after clicking they will be uh, taken to this particular form so say name of the students so some name will be entered and uh, some roll number will be selected from here by the students okay and then the student will add the file okay so some file from the device say any one from here any pdf file so this file will be uploaded after clicking the upload option okay so i'm doing this from the students account right okay so the file is uploaded and then the student will click submit okay so once uh, the submit option is clicked the teacher can uh, view this particular assignment here responses so here i have given only one response so only one response is visible here so this particular student has submitted 6508 roll number so has submitted this particular assignment okay so to view the assignments we can just uh, go to this option let me just uh, maximize and go to this option there is a option called create spreadsheet okay we'll go to this particular option and then we'll click create okay so a spreadsheet will be created where uh, the list of student will be there and their name will be there and their roll number also will be there and the link to the google drive file will be also available okay so which student has submitted which 
file we can always view it okay so next we can come to the grading part so uh, after having a look at the file that is submitted okay so we can have a look from here also so this particular file has been submitted by this student yeah so this particular file has been submitted so we can just have a look because uh, we are evaluating it manually so we have to look at the assignment if it is satisfactory we will uh, give the grading to the students okay so what we can do is uh, we will go to this classwork assignment there is an option called view assignment okay so after going to view assignment we will see the which students have submitted so these are the students who have submitted so here there is only one student we can uh, click here for assigning the marks say i assign 18 out of 20 and then we can click this return option and so the student will also be notified about the mark that is given to the student okay so we can return it and after returning i also want that uh, the scores of the students and along with their names email ids should be generated in a spreadsheet okay so we have this option i have already clicked uh, this option copy all grades to google sheets okay we can click this option so the grades will be copied to the google sheet okay so as you can see here the name uh, surname and name of the student is there the email id is there from where uh, he or she has submitted and then the mark that is assigned is also there okay so we can save this particular sheet as a excel sheet okay and we can also uh, take the roll numbers from the, the this particular sheet okay and then uh, we can put it in this file and uh, then we can create a list of uh, students with roll numbers as well as marks okay so for that uh, i missed one thing we should have al al also given the option for email address of the student so email address will be recorded and we can always uh, copy the email address and roll numbers and that should match with the email addresses on the grading sheet that is created okay and then immediately we can uh, form the list of students with their grades okay and this can be saved in an excel sheet and then the necessary editing can be done okay so the, so by this process we can uh, grade the students manually and see uh, the performance of the students and as well as we can easily uh, create uh, result sheets which we need to submit to the to our institution or to the examination branch for uh, the tabulation part okay so it's uh, quite easy we can organize the tests this way we can create sample tests for different classes as per our uh, teaching assignments so we can have separate classes for uh, the separate online classes for separate actual classes okay so for example here for six m honors i have kept one class for second seven hours i have kept another one for fourth seven hours i have kept, kept another one okay so when we uh, give some assignment the assignment will be shared with all the people or all the students in this particular class so here on all the students are also uh, already listed so we just need to make sure that every student has joined this joined this google classroom okay so this way we can proceed with the grading grading of assignments right thank you